Can you imagine yourself doing your business as usual? And then suddenly a PlayStation fell down and it hit your head? Oh, don't worry. Blood armor. You're still alive and you found yourself in a room with a pair of twins trying to wake you up. Am I in heaven? Did I get Isekai? Is this the start of my new life as a G- oh, Wait, no? Oh, oh, okay then. Let's start the video. Today's guy's video focuses on two characters. Seiba Momoi and Seiba Miduri from the Game Development Department. The cheerful and light-hearted Momoi serves as a screenwriter of the club, while the introverted Midori is the club's illustrator. Despite the differences, their passion towards video games made them inseparable. The twins, along with their club president Yuzu, aim to make the best game in Givoros. However, there's a small problem. Their club is getting disbanded. In this video, I'll tell you everything about the twins and their capabilities in their respective archetypes. And of course, we will talk about their skill and equipment priorities and their best teammates. Rise of Gamers, cause we're about to... FBI, open up! To start off, Momoi is a 2-star piercing assault rifle striker, while Reader is a 3-star piercing sniper rifle striker. In this section of the video, I'm going to discuss Momoi and then Midori. At 3 star level 75, Momoi has 1997 attack, 97 defense, 19992 HP, 194 crit rate, and 650 attack range, which is the standard range of striker students taking the middle position. Her attack can be raised to 2504 at 5 star level 75. On the other hand, Midori has 2972 attack, 93 defense, 16753 HP. 202 crit rate, 4155 healing, and 750 attack range, which is the standard range of SR strikers. Similarly, her attack can be raised to 3727 at 5 star level 75. Some of you may wonder why I mentioned her healing stat. This is because of her basic skill, which I will discuss later. In comparison to the other two piercing AR strikers, Maui's attack is lower than Junko by 587 and higher than Hifumi by 155. Meanwhile, Midori's attack is the third highest among piercing SR users, only beaten by Hasumi by 258 and Iri by 49, followed by Karen having lower attack by 368 and Tomoe by 513. Despite these comparisons, will the twins stand on par with the current meta? That shall be decided by their skills and equipment. Let's discuss the twin skills, starting with Momoi. Her EX skill is translated as the Anguish of Creation. This is a 3 cost EX skill that deals damage from 338% to 541% at level 5 to all enemies within a small conical area. If Midori is with her, Momoi will also apply burn damage equal to 72% to 93.6% of her attack that lasts for 20 seconds. This is a good wave clearing skill at a very low cost. Her basic skill is called Strict Deadlights. Every 30 seconds, she increases her own accuracy from 22.3% to 42.3% for 20 seconds. Considering the timing, this buff has a 10 second window before activating again. Although in PvE and raids, accuracy is not much of an issue unless the enemy has a smoke grenade or an evasion buff. Momoi's enhanced skill is called Creative Sense and it increases her crit rate by 14% 26.6%. Her sub-skill is called Developer Synergy Midori which increases her attack by 15% to 28.7%. But if Midori is with her in the team, the skill increases her attack by 18.1% to 34.4% instead. Let's move on to Midori's skills. Her EX skill is called Drawing Art. This EX skill lets her target up to 5 enemies and deal damage with each shot dealing 119% to 191% of her attack. And if Momoi is with her, she also inflicts poison damage equal to 39.8% to 51.8% of her attack that lasts for 20 seconds. Note that burn and poison damage are different, so they stack with one another. Her basic skill is called Brush of Sense. She heals an ally with the lowest HP for 77.5% to 147% of her healing. It's rare for a DPS to have a healing skill. And besides, her healing ability is not enough to replace a healer, but you know, could come in handy in dark situations. Her enhanced skill, Artist Inspiration, increases her hit rate by 40% to 26.6%. And finally, her sub skill is called Developer Synergy Momoi. This is almost the same as Momo's sub skill, but the only difference is that this skill increases Midori's attack speed by 15% to 28.7%, but if Momoi is with her, the attack speed is increased by 18.1% to 34.4% instead. Their basic skills take the lowest priority. 
I mean, Moe's accuracy buff and meter's healing brings little to no help in PvE and raids but could be utilized in PvP. Setting those aside, both of them should be given priority towards their EX skills, then their sub skill, and then the rest. The scaling for the sub skill is good, especially with Midori since she's an SR striker. The reason why their enhanced skill comes after lies on their equipment. Momoi's equipment is composed of a pair of shoes, a hairpin, and a watch. This is very weird for Momoi because the shoe gives attack a max HP at tier 4 and above. Well, maybe, aside from the little bit of survivability considering that their possession is middle, additional health doesn't really benefit Momoi. If you check some of her students, notice that some tanks, supports, and healers use shoes on their first equipment slot. This is very odd because Momoi is an offensive unit and she doesn't provide any support except for her twin sister. While she cannot get any crit rate or crit damage from her first equipment, her watch comes to the rescue, powering up her crit rate and crit damage at tier 4 and a little bit more max HP at tier 5. The hairpin gives HP and CC resistance at tier 4. On the other hand, Midori's equipment is composed of a pair of gloves, a hairpin, and a watch. The glove gives attack and crit rate at tier 4. That means Midori's equipment gives a lot of crit rate, especially with the glove and the watch. Farming for Midori's equipment for crit rate is cheaper and faster than farming for the skill books and materials for her enhanced skill. This reason also applies to Momoi. As for Momoi's equipment priority, go for the shoes, then for the watch, and then the hairpin. Midori's gloves takes high priority, followed by the watch, and finally the hairpin. Momoi's EOE is called Unique Idea, while Midori's EOE is called Fresh Inspiration. At 2 stars, both of their enhanced skills Creative Sense and Artist Inspiration are upgraded to Creative Sense Plus and Artist Inspiration Plus. Since the twins' enhanced skills are the same, their upgraded enhanced skills are also the same. The upgraded enhanced skill now gives an additional flat critical rate by 100 to 190. At 3 stars, Momoi's area affinity towards indoor areas is changed from D to B, while Midori's area affinity towards outdoor areas is changed from S to SS. In order to unlock their unique equipment, you need to raise the rarity to 5 stars. As a 2-star student, Momoi needs 300 of her LF. On the other hand, Midori needs 220 of her LF. If you want to raise Momoi's rarity to 3-star to unlock her sub-skill as soon as their banner drop, you might want to get 5 copies of her from the gacha or use your Eligma to convert it in the shop. To answer if the twins are actually good, let's point out the strengths and weaknesses. Momoi's EX skill is really cheap for an AoE skill and is good enough to clear waves. In chested raids, she's one of the recommended units and could be better than Nonomi due to the difference of the cost of their EX skills. Despite Momoi's EX skill range being narrower but longer than Nonomi's. In short, Momoi is a decent wave clearing unit. Midori EX skill is also cheap and she can snipe up to 5 enemies or dedicate all of your shots towards a boss. If Midori and Momoi are in the same team, their overall DPS is improved significantly due to the added effects of their EX skills and their sub skill. But despite being inseparable, can we use Momoi without their twin sister and vice versa? The answer is... Kinda. Although it's better to use them both in the same team, Midori and Momoi can work just fine without each other. In fact, for the first chested raid, it's recommended to pull for Momoi and then bail if you want to save your fire scenes for someone else. But what about their downsides? Not to mention their basic skills, Midori and Momoi are decent units, but they are highly replaceable by other great piercing strikers like Iri and Junko. And unsurprisingly, Momoi is more replaceable than Midori due to her low attack, low EX skill scaling, her shoes as one of her equipment, and also a bizarre basic skill that can only be utilized in PvP. And yeah, if you want to bring out the best of them, you need to assign the twins in the same team which can be a huge restriction when you're building your formation. Let's compare Momoi with their fellow ARS piercing strikers. Junko is a great piercing striker due to her high attack stat and her synergy towards her own kit, especially with your EX skill and sub skill. Momoi's only advantage against Junko is her 3 cost EX skills conical attack range versus Junko's 5 cost EX skills straight line attack range. The cost of Junko's EX skill compensates for her high damage output. Ifumi is more of a support counter with their Peru God decoy with a spice of wave clearing damage. And unlike Momoi, Ifumi actually benefits from her pair of shoes because Peru's HP kills with her own HP. And for today's special guest, let's compare Momoi with Nonomi, a machine gun piercing striker. Nonomi's damage output is impressive despite her EX skill costing half of her cost gauge. She can shred enemies in PvE. PvP and yellow raids, but if you want faster EX skill cycling, Momoi is a good yet a weaker alternative. 
complementary with her fellow piercing strikers and specials. It's a little bit unfair to compare Midori with Eerie. High attack stat, high EX skill scaling at cost 3, and her EX skill having AoE damage on each shot? What more can I say? Well, if anything, aside from the power difference, Eerie takes her time executing her EX skill and she moves a lot, which can bring her to safety or in danger. Unlike Midori staying in place while she's firing her EX skill. If Midori's EX skill can target up to 5 enemies, Karen is a SR special that snipes and obliterates a single target with your EX and basic skill. The big downside of her is that her EX skill has a great delay before landing the shot, which makes it highly prone to overkilling. Asumi, on the other hand, is meant for sniping multiple enemies one by one according to her basic and sub skill. In other words, whenever she defeats an enemy, she reloads and gets a quick rate buff on her next shot. This cycle is great for mob sniping, but not really for boss sniping. Tomoe is a welfare unit that is more of a buffer than a DPS. Her EX skill improves the crit rate, crit damage, and movement speed of all units near her. Sounds impressive, but her EX skill range is rather small and she's always at the back, so it's kinda difficult to utilize her skill. Overall, are the twins actually good? Yes! Just like their shared overwhelming passion towards video games, the twins shine with their synergy, their cheap EX skills, and their considerable amount of DPS. Although they are highly replaceable but with other better units, they are still good choices, especially if you put a good amount of investment into them in all kinds of comp. To maximize the damage, it's recommended to bring the twins together. Since Midori's healing is far from making healing supports obsolete, go bring an actual healer like Ayane, Narina, Hanae, Hanako, Fuka, and Koharu. Students like Kotama, Ako, Moe, Atsu, and Karin can increase the twins' damage output with their respective skills. And that's it for Midori's and Momoi's guide video. In conclusion, the twins can produce decent damage and they are helpful in clearing out waves in PvE and the Chested Raid. There are better alternatives to Midori and Momoi, but there's no harm in putting some investment into them. So gamers, what students should I showcase next? Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Also, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, go sub now and follow my Twitch on twitch.tv slash That's it for now, and see you next time.